Hi guys! Um, I thought I would come on today and show a product that I haven't featured in a little bit. And it's the Liquid Sunshine. This is going to give you glowing tan skin. And it actually uh, rinses off. So it's not like um, permanent or semi-permanent. If you have skirt on or... Um, something like that you want your legs to be glowing and have a nice shimmer to them this is an awesome product that just washes away um, also uh, just a little bit of background on it it is a liquid bronzer hydrated formula contains vitamin C coffee bean extract to brighten and rejuvenate um, aging skin so I'm actually going to show you today that you can actually apply it to your face and I'll show it what it looks like on my pale skin. Um, we've layered this before, so I'll show you how you can kind of layer it up too. And um, let's get into it. So I'm going to do kind of a glowy, hydrated face today. And I'm going to start, I've already prepped my skin, I've done my One Drop Wonder. Uh, I'm going to do my must do and I'm going to actually put my must do in my botanical foundation so I'm going to give it a little squirt in here and then we're just going to mix it up this will give you a light coverage it'll give my skin some hydration and it'll give me a nice glow to my skin as well so if you hear any noise in the background, my kids are still home. They didn't go back. Um, they don't go back till tomorrow. So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna use a brush because I'm gonna use my sponge somewhere else today. So I get my mirror out. And this is Shinto Zero. And if you haven't tried our must do. It smells amazing, super hydrating, light enough you can wear it under your foundation. And it just gives you a little bit of extra hydration. Um, and it's fine if you also have oily skin. So it helps to kind of combat that oil on your face. A little bit more. And we're just doing a light foundation, glowing skin. And I said in another video, if you do have wrinkles under your eyes, a good way to keep it, uh, your foundation from like setting and those fine lines and wrinkles under your eye is to hydrate it. So the must do, go pop a little bit under your eye and then apply your foundation and it just gives you a really nice um, look, hydrates it and doesn't like attach to those. Okay, so really light look, light application. And I'm just going to do a little spot treatment on here. Right there. Okay. Maybe pop a little on my lid too. So, I have my foundation on. And I'm going to go in with my liquid sunshine now. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand because a little goes a long way with this. And I don't want to have like craziness going on in my face. Um, especially on a live that I can't like delete it. So we're going to put a little bit on my hand. Now that's actually a lot, but I can show you kind of how it applies. Okay. 
Do you see how it has like a really nice glow to your skin? And that's just like a light layer. You want to let it dry though. Make sure you let it dry before you like probably put anything on. So I'm going to take a little bit of this extra that I have on my hand and I'm going to use a sponge. And I'm going to apply it right on my face. I'm going to do a little bit more. Actually, I have some on the lid I can kind of take away. I like applying it with the sponge just because I feel like I have a little bit more control because I can blend it out. The kids are screaming. This isn't going to be like a contour really. Uh, I mean, it's got a shimmer in it, so you don't really want to contour with it, but it's going to give you a really nice bronzing effect. And our bronzer actually has like the gold, kind of gold fleck in it too. So I'm just warming my skin up with it. And you can start with a little amount and build it up. Take it down my neck. And I would still set it with like a powder or anything. You could apply it um, all over, really. So now I'm just going to go back in with whatever's left on my brush. Because I'm going to still apply like contour and stuff, too. But this gives me a little bit of a glow. Go back in with your sponge. Just kind of tap it out. Okay, so if you wanted to, we have waterproof concealers. And if you wanted to go in with your waterproof concealer and do a little bit of contouring with it, you totally could. Uh, concealer number five is the one I use. Just add a little bit underneath here.
And if you do it on your skin, you want to make sure you've exfoliated because it will kind of cling to your dry patches. Like mine right by my pimple. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm just going to like do a little eye makeup. We're going to use, I'll just use my contour palette. So we'll do a light dusting. On my lid. Austin. And let's let's go in with this dark contour shade. And just lightly. So if you're having trouble getting a light application, the best thing to do is hold your brush all the way down at the very end of the handle. That way you're not focusing it. You're giving yourself a really light grip for application. I always bring it down. So it's like, I think it's around 10 degrees right now. This morning it was in the negatives. It's been in the negatives pretty much all week here. So I really wanted to do something to take my mind off how cold it is. Cause I gotta get out in the cold today. And I'm not looking forward to it. If you guys are on, go ahead and say hi. Let me know you're on here. So you can just build this up. I'm just using a really big brush. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, Kansas City, mid here in the Midwest, and it is freaking cold. <laughs> Is for freezing. Hi, Amy. We're freezing our butts off here. Okay, so I just did um, browns. You could use a dark powder if you wanted. Um, really, whatever works. Let's do. I have very, very little. Uh, concealer left but I'm gonna try to get it out and do a little concealing with my waterproof concealer in zero just got some under my fingernails okay my mirror where do you live So this is um, concealer zero. Just gonna brighten it up a little bit. <laughs> Austin. Oh, so. Are you familiar with Glen Carbon? Because that is where I have to travel for Leland's eye therapy. Yeah, it was pretty, it's been cold all week here. I mean, 29 is gonna feel like a heat wave. I don't, I don't think Sarah and I are friends. We'll have to add her. Okay, so I just did a really, really light uh, I think Glenn Carbon's kind of on the St. Louis um, like border.
order, would you say? It's about four hours for me. This pimple is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so I did a little concealing, very, very little concealing. Now, let's dust on some powder. I'll have to add her. Okay, a little powder. Let that set for a minute. And I am going to do some highlighting. Uh, also, to kind of keep my skin looking glowy. I might actually do a little bit of contour just right there. Okay, I'll, I'll take it down here. And maybe a little bit on my nose. I don't know why my, so my kids will start school up again tomorrow from break. They start on a Wednesday. I don't even know. That doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. Okay, let's do, let me try to find my highlighter. Whew, got dust flying. Hi, Kim. Hold on, let me find my highlighter. Okay, so I have this Wet n Wild highlighter that I picked up for like three bucks. Sorry, I have um, concealer under my nail. Uh, so this is it, and I actually really like it. It's uh, got a nice like gold tint to it. And I feel like it does a really nice job. You can kind of see it. Do a little bit right here. Here. Okay, and then to keep it natural, I'm just going to pop on my Not Telling Nude Lipstick. And by natural, I'm still going to probably wear false eyelashes. <laughs> um, so this is Not Telling. It's like the perfect nude. I love it. And you can get it anywhere. I think I think I got mine from the drugstore. Like maybe maybe CVS. Okay, there's not telling. To also make your face look really pretty and glowy. The 10 Years Younger Setting Spray. Really, look at that. Ooh, kind of makes it pop. Okay, so I should probably add mascara or my lashes. We'll do my lashes if I can find where I put them. Found them. And I'm gonna be on like day 
three or four with these lashes. So I'm getting quite a bit of wear out of them. Easy to use. Okay, I'm going to pop a little glue on them. I think the hardest thing about having false lashes is when you peel them off your eyes, putting them somewhere where the kids or the cat isn't going to run off with them. Because I always have like one lash <laughs> that goes up missing and then I can't use them anymore. Okay. So I put a little bit of glue on, just going to let that dry up a little bit. What? Here. I leave my eye open. Yes, love. Yep, go for it. These are so ridiculous. What's the matter, Austin? Oh, she's mad at someone. They were only playing nice for a minute. Ooh. Supernatural. Yeah. Not so natural, are they? They're fun though. Okay, where did I put my other one? Right here. Okay, just another thin layer on this one. And then I'll show you one last time um, how to use the um, liquid sunshine. So. I'll probably go ahead and put some mascara on just to kind of blend them together. I find that if you do add a little bit of mascara after you put on your false lashes, that it kind of takes a lot of the weight out of them. So they don't feel as heavy. Gosh, I love our not telling. It's so hydrating. Okay. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. I did a little highlight and glow, summer vibes, and then I'll show you. I'm just going to take a wipe to my arm and take off what I had on my arm from the liquid sunshine. So I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like when you apply it to my light skin. So I would, I had some moisturizer on, so my skin's pretty, pretty hydrated. Um, I do shave my arms though, so I have a bit of stubble, hopefully it doesn't catch on that. So we're going to let that dry just a second. You could even put the liquid sunshine on your like decollete to give you a really nice glow.
gives you a little look and tan. And then it's got like a, if you move, it's kind of got like a shimmer to it. So let's go ahead and put some on my arm. Here's my arm. Very, you don't need very much, like really little. And this isn't, um, it's not really a self tanner because it washes off, so. But it does give you a really pretty, that's one super light coat. It gives you a nice glow to your skin and adds a little bit of color. So, um, and I actually applied that to my face today. So, if you guys have any questions on any of the products I use today or how to use them, just message me and I will get you hooked up. Um, I will actually post, I will pin my website on here if you are interested in checking out the Liquid Sunshine. And, I'm not very good at this. This month... So we got this BG TV. Basically, it's like a tablet, and it comes preloaded with videos, like informational videos for Limelight. And you can actually upload your own videos. Um, onto it. So if you have like a show you're going to, like a vendor show, or you're setting up a booth somewhere or a table or something, you can set that there. Look, my hands got stuff on them. And um, upload your own videos and everyone else's. So it's really nice. It's just a tablet screen with information on it. So this month you actually get it in your starter kit, which is really cool. And it's for January only. Otherwise you can buy it um, next month or right now individually, but it comes in the starter kit. So um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys stay warm. Thanks.